So this is about how we choose different materials to make a car. So let's see what we use. Uh, we use plastic for making the dashboard and the inside fittings because we can mould it. We use glass for the windscreens because it's nice and transparent. We use copper for the wiring because copper is a good conductor of electricity. We use fibres for the seats because fibres are nice and soft to sit on. And then we've got iron and aluminium and this is going to, we're going to have a bit of a more of a conversation about this. But for instance, iron I use to make the car body because it's strong. But could I also use aluminium? Aluminium could also be used for the car body, maybe for the hubcaps as well. And aluminium is quite strong. So let's look at the comparison between aluminium and steel in terms of making a car body. Corrosion. We know that aluminium doesn't corrode because it's got a protective oxide layer, but steel will corrode. So that means that aluminium will have a longer lifetime and steel will have a shorter lifetime. In terms of cost, aluminium costs more money than steel. So that's an advantage for steel and that's because aluminium needs to be extracted by electrolysis. In terms of density, aluminium is less dense than steel. So I'm never going to make a plain body out of steel, but I could make a plain body out of aluminium. That also then affects the fuel economy. A lighter vehicle will use less petrol, so aluminium will, will use less petrol than a steel vehicle. In terms of strength, aluminium is strong, but steel is very strong. So in a crash, steel would win. In terms of whether they're magnetic or not, aluminium is not magnetic, but steel is magnetic. Because steel is magnetic, we can use an electromagnet to separate the steel from other metals. Lastly, you need to know about recycling the materials from a car. Why is this important? Well, first of all, we save resources. So if we recycle, we use less iron oxide and less aluminium oxide, and we don't have to do so much mining. Also, we won't have to take so much crude oil out the ground to make plastics, so we save resources. Also, we reduce disposal problems, especially materials which don't biodegrade, which don't rot, and which will take up space in landfill sites. So for these reasons, new laws have been passed that 85% of all materials in a new car must have come from recycled materials.